I gotta introduce myself to the studio. No, my name is Brian Keener, I'm a piece of jazz uh, band here, the Studio Jazz Ensemble. And uh, we've got a great set for you tonight, and I just want to first off thank, so this is this was my day. So this morning we woke up and we found, found out that unfortunately we had two students who couldn't perform tonight, and uh, I was like, oh goodness, what are we gonna do? And then, unfortunately it was two trombone players. Uh, you know, day to gig, no big deal. And uh, so we, I, you know, I got to my, go to my go-to. So Stephen Robinson is here, and Stephen is actually an alumnus of the program, graduated 14. I always ask him that, so I always forget. He's like, yes, old man. You ask me that every time you see him. Uh, yeah, 2014, uh, went to SC. Woohoo! Undergrad, you got it. And so I got my Trojan. You can't even see him. I got my Trojan socks on and everything. And uh, just finished his master's at University of Miami in trombone performance and jazz studies. Um, and then he texted me, he's like, hey, I heard you also made a trombone player. Kenton Luck is also available. And I'm like, Kenton Luck? That's a small circle. So Kenton, here's this, check this out, just graduated from Miami undergrad and is now going to USC and getting his master's. So we're super glad to have him. And here's the other favorite thing about Kenton. His dad was the band director here at Westlake for eight years before me. So, oh, that means you're old. Okay, so, so it's kind of a neat thing. I remember teaching the drum line here in 98, 99, and Kenton was running around, you know, like with, with, with his dad, his little kid, one of the marching band shows. And so, for me, honestly, to see him on this stage playing in this band uh, is, is pretty cool for me. So, thank you both for, for playing tonight. Okay? First tune we're gonna play is called God Rest Ye Merry Trombones. Of course, that's our opener when half of them, you know, whatever. But uh, this is gonna feature uh, the trombones. So enjoy this. Uh, we've got Luciano, uh, Stephen, and then Kenton will be uh, will be having some fun. Here we go.
May on piano over here. Who, by the way, can recite some mean Shakespeare in a drama production and sing in the choir and play the piano? Services, uh, one for school, for kids to have supplies, 
a Thanksgiving meal, Christmas Eve, and uh, the day before Easter as well. And uh, a lot of these students uh, went for the first time uh, and performed for them this past Thanksgiving. So literally Wednesday morning, the middle of fall break, 8 o'clock in the morning, these kids were in the band room, sight reading music, got in cars and went downtown and, and played. And uh, so I just want to thank them for that. And, uh, you know, all the students, Stephen, Stephen was like, can I go? I want to go back and do it. It's like, yeah, it'd be great. So anyway, it's just, uh, it's, a, it's a neat tradition. So that was one of the tunes that we played for the, uh, for the, uh, the homeless on Skid Row. Yeah, please. theater, see kids on stage and hear music and go, yeah, that, that's what it's been. I, I can't tell you how hard it's been for all these kids uh, to play music. I mean, that's in their heart. And, you know, when we all went remote and Zoom and then 
you know, teachers trying to figure out how the heck are we going to do band. I mean, a year ago, these kids were writing songs on Soundtrap and singing and asking, what the heck is Mr. Peter making me do? You know, and then we were lucky enough in March to be able to, this group, go outside for two days, you know, after school, just play, what's this like? Kids are coming out of their, you know, bedrooms and trying to figure out, you know, how to play. And it's not just play your heart, but it's communicate. You know, communicate music, ideas. You know, one of my things is they're not robots. Every time you play these tunes, they're different. They're faster, they're slower. Drums do something different. Solos do something different. And it takes a lot of grit. And I could not be more proud of what these kids are doing. It's been so hard for them. And I could not be proud of what Combo did, what the Lab did, and what these guys are doing. So one, one more round of applause. I got two more for you. This one's entitled Green Sleeves.
Super proud of her. The marching band won a gold medal in the 2A division. <laughs> I also want to thank Miss Davis, who's here tonight. She works with uh, Symphonic Band in the morning, and then she's also the band director at the Kalino Middle School. So thank you so much. Well, thank you, Mr. Ray. Uh, he's, he's been in the trenches and, and kind of been that daily conduit uh, between the new directors that have been here and just offering his expertise. March man, taking on lab, doing a great job with those guys. So thank you, Mr. Ray, so much. <laughs> and just all of our admin, uh, you know, I, I, I feel so bad for the admin. I was on the, our administration, I mean, we were on the phone this morning and. And they're in the grind. I mean, teachers are in the grind, we're all in the grind, but they, you know, they, they don't get to teach every day. They don't get to see the, the positivity that's happening in the classroom with kids coming back and learning. And so I'd just like to thank all of the administrators across the district and at the, at the district office. I know Ms. Godfrey's back there right now, one of our admin and old band parents, you're not old, but one of the old band parents, former band parents, sorry, I'm gonna have to run off state now. So it's just thank you to everybody. Thank you parents um, for all you're doing to support the arts. Um, We've got one more chart for you this evening. Uh, this is entitled Rhapsody in Blue. This is the Gordon Goodwin arrangement of this. Uh, it's tough. Um, it was, was kind of like, eh, you know, uh, we got Dredge over here that was, you know, honking away on the clarinets, and I was like, he's like, can, can we play Rhapsody? And I'm like, instrumentation people, like, let me get it up. And then all of a sudden, like, wow, they, they could do this, and they just latched onto it. And, uh, this is a big one. This is actually a Grammy-nominated uh, uh, arrangement uh, by Gordon Goodwin. So uh, this will be the last thing we're going to do when we're done. Uh, the students and I are all going to clean up and get out of here. Um, so this will be it. That's all from me. Thank you guys so very, very much. Happy holidays, and uh, enjoy Rhapsody in Blue.
That's not insane. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, how did, I mean, I cannot be more proud of you guys. That was amazing. That was just, they, you're not supposed to do that coming out of COVID. <laughs> and I got to tell you, we played this tune on Tuesday. Uh, the mayor, uh, Claudia de la Pena, uh, gave her a state of the city and wanted this group to play uh, during lunch. And uh, we were playing and people were eating and everybody was there. I mean, school board and superintendent, and elected officials, and chiefs, I mean, you name it, they're all there. And they're listening and all of a sudden, this guy shreds that clarinet solo and I've never seen so many people go, <laughs> I know that song and just thumbs up. And so for all the soloists tonight um, and everybody in the band, Thank you again, Stephen. Penta, thank you so very much. Thank you, everybody. Happy holidays.